Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new illustrated tutorial and today I'll show you this type of A logo which is creative and uh, the technical logo minimal as well so I'll show you how to make this type of logo let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so at first going to the file and taking new and the artboard 2000 pixel and 2000 pixel and A logo giving the name and hit the create button you're getting the artboard like that i'll go to the polygon tool and select once you'll get the small window and right down over here three you'll get triangle like that so after that i'll make it bigger like uh, so make it link and make it 650 okay after that turn off the fill color just only stroke over here and after that go to the direct selection tool press a from the keyboard you'll get some round in a corner if you don't get this type of round in your creative cloud version go to the view options and turn on the height corner or show corner wages and if you are the user of the cs version go to the styles from the effects menu and round corners so two way you have to make it round and i'm the user of the creative cloud 2020 that's why i'm just using the circles and dragging it into like this so after dragging that you're getting the rounded triangle now i'll go to the ellipse tool and drawing ellipse like this so make the ellipse according to this one Press Ctrl or Command Y for the outline mode and make sure that the ellipse is just joined with the lines of the triangle. So you can make it bigger or smaller, but you have to make it join. So for your convenient, go to the view options, turn on the snap to pixel. Otherwise, you can't move it freely. So which one is convenient to you? I don't know, but you have to make this one just properly match with the triangle okay this portion is just matched and this portion two copies ctrl c and ctrl f select this portion and make it the alignment like this and ctrl c ctrl f make this one the subject or key subject make it in a middle like this so you are getting like that and now I'll draw some lines and uh, what will be the guideline of that lines press p from the keyboard that is the pen tool and when you are over your uh, mouse you will get anchor point over here just select once over here and you will find out another anchor point over here okay now press the return button or enter button to make it like that press v after that make it bigger like that okay fine and take it in this portion so make sure that this portion is joined with these two circle otherwise it won't work properly or now when you want to cut those out it won't work properly that you have to make copy by pressing ctrl c and ctrl f and press ctrl or command d you are getting these things okay fine now i'll draw another line and i'll make it cut so how to do that again press p from the keyboard find out the anchor point and make another anchor point join like that return button to press and end the line selection tool and press shift and option or alter button and make it bigger to make your guideline and make the guideline or make the line just join with this so you can make it zoom to make this one join with the circle that's good and ctrl c ctrl f and ctrl d and you'll make like that and after that just take another circle and just join with that and this portion as well so we are getting this type of circles and the triangle select all the portion and on all the subjects make sure that all the circle and all the line is joined with each other okay fine now 
time to like join with each other so now how to make these things press shift m for the shape builder tools and select all the things and i'm just going to the normal mode and make sure that all the panel is properly aligned and all the circle is properly aligned with each other otherwise you can't cut the circle from or cut the shape properly so select all the things shift m and now in a normal mode turning off the stroke giving color for recognizing the portion so here this portion at first i'm making this one like this type of round and make sure that don't leave the portion or cut the portion like this okay fine this portion is done and now this portion and that's good and this portion okay fine you are getting the color like that but i want to separate these colors for the separation okay fine that's fine okay now we'll turn off the stroke selecting these portions and turning off the stroke that's fine and press y from the keyboard and select the one lines and all line will select and delete those portion now i'll get the gradient and color from this one or this panel and select over here please find the download link in my video description of this gradient and color palette select this one press i from the keyboard and select once and make it like here the reverse and then select this one this one i from the keyboard and make it reverse and going to the rectangle giving the color like this and just send it in a back layer just mark my uh, like shortcut keys and here this portion i have to make it group that's good and like that nice now i'll write down the logo name it could be the airgram or whatever it is and selecting over here making the font size bigger choosing the font which is the next the bold and writing down something so you have to make the font color actually this font color uh, like a white or other colors just because of the background color and the font color could be same or it could be in a like last layer so you have to find it out so this portion that's good i'll choose the color from here that means this color okay nice and writing the name logo name like air drum okay fine selecting all the alphabets and writing gap between two letters so that is 400 that's good and make it in the middle like this if you need you can make it bigger press the shift and hold it and make it bigger right press and create outline and uh, one thing is that if you outline the font you can't change the font in future and this one is no longer the font this one is the shape now so you are getting this logo hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment in my video comment section and if you want to get the like a gradient and background colors please check out my video description for the download link and stay safe stay at home Keep us in your prayers as well. Until the next video, I am ASRF signing out today. Bye-bye.